Apparently, family therapists are warning about the impact of something called a bulldozer parent. I guess it's where mom and dad try to mow down every obstacle that comes in their child's way. I say. Right, Sonny? <laughs> She's a helicopter parent. Not no, anymore. She's, she's a bulldozer. She's a bulldozer. I made the mistake of sharing a story this morning <laughs> during did not a hear. topics <laughs> meeting. Mm -hmm. You know, my son finally got his driver's license. So we're letting him drive to school and back. And I'm horrified. <laughs> so I have taken to pulling it in after him and following him <laughs> to school. That's a stalking parent. And <laughs> looking and come to find out on days that I can't do it, my husband has also taken <laughs> to following What him. are you going to do if he crashes the car, though? You can't No, have... no, they're going to crash I because they're so busy crash. looking. I just want to make sure paying he's attention. okay. And he's such a good driver. He's following all the rules. Then why are you so still nice doing it? Why are you I'm still following him? Soon. So you, you have to stop. Like in, a, in a year, he's going to be in college, and you guys can't follow him there and sit in the bushes and know, watch his every activity. You know what the problem so with nervous. that? When you look at the stats, it's, though, mm -hmm. And I have, of Don't. course, because I'm crazy. Uh, it's the number one cause of death in teens is driving. Right? Don't tell me but that. But it's it is. But it's usually when they are the passenger. That's right. Oh. Not when they're the driver. That's right. So as long as your kid is a great driver, then their chances of a vehicle-related death are lower. Unless, so, of course, someone is following. Following them. you and stalking you like I am. And making and then making them nervous <laughs> because they're right up on him because because the the bulldozer parent doesn't realize she's right here. <laughs> he can see her and then he realizes it's you and stops talking to you for like ten years. You know what the problem? The problem is they will turn on you for that because what they hear is I'm incompetent. You may think I'm really caring about you. And he's a great they driver. Hear is, so uh, good. Or you they, don't you don't think that, that I'm capable. That's what they yeah. hear. Or they yeah. go absolutely yeah. nuts when they do get that freedom in college. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's not her, not her kid. Your kid won't, kid but that does happen. But my daughter is almost two. And she's I'm, driving already? She's, <laughs> Personality is kind of baked in early. Oh, it's baked in before they're even out of the womb, yeah. I feel. But she's at, yeah. I say at any age as a mom, like, they are testing the limits, and right now yeah. she gets into everything. And I'm realizing, what kind of a mom do I want to be? Do yeah. I have to try and protect her? Yesterday, we were at the playground, and I thought she broke her neck. She had a terrible fall. She has this big black eye now. And... I mean, I had the worst anxiety. I thought, you, you know what? Hover I will over have years the, the of monkey this anxiety. Bars. Okay, I just, I, just, I, just, yes. I just want to tell you a story about <laughs> my childhood. Yes. I, <laughs> my family was the opposite. Before I went into high school, my parents sent me on an outward bound trip in the middle of the Australian outback. Was that to get wow. rid of you? To, tell the truth. <laughs> I, I, was I don't know. But I went on like a group trip with kids yeah. to learn how to like, you know, learn about the outdoors and learn about like camping and being outside. And my dad was always like, you're gonna figure it out one way or the other. And like, same thing with like learning how to swim. Like, I think he like literally threw me. It sounds so, he was in his 80s when he died. He had me later in life. But yeah. I, they said he was, uh, my mom was, uh, there's another term for it. It's the exact opposite. It's like, let them survive free in the wild. Parenting. Free range parenting. No, my parents were like, you'll, you'll, the opposite. I broke my collarbone. I messed up my body. Like, I did a bunch of stuff growing up, but like, I'm made of steel. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know I mean, nothing screws with me. Yeah, yeah. I scare everyone. They like... were following you in the car. <laughs> Maybe they were, and I didn't know. I'm I mean, still but trying I doubt to get it. over this one's baby in the car. <laughs> she <laughs> driving to. I just She's my brain is there. Yeah, she is a great. You know she what? probably girl. would if she could. But by the way, Sunny still can't swim. Yeah. Neither can I. I'm a terrible yeah, I swimmer. Just, don't even get me started. My mother that. thought if I learned to swim, I would swim and then I would drown. It's very logical. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My mother what? wouldn't let me swim yes. in the public pool. Somebody, she said that there somebody, were... somebody when I was a kid died well, in, in a pool. Didn't you think you were like